<laughs> so you got tattoos of like um, like flowers and yeah, the tree I have. Yeah, this is like um, it's an acacia tree, so it's like the national tree of Zimbabwe, where I'm half Zimbabwe and half Irish. Right, so right. that's the connection there. And then the sunflower, I just love sunflowers. So okay, yeah, my sister, my friend does stick and poke, and she did it for me. How was that? Yeah, it was actually fine. Like I, I found it less sore than um, normal tattoo, to be honest. But like they're all tight. Like I have such tiny tattoos. Like this little most. My favorite one is these boobs. Oh. <laughs> what was the inspiration for that? Oh, me and my friends. We lived in a house together, like three years ago. It was just for the summer, and um, it, we always just hung around with our this is boobs. One of those. <laughs> Do you watch movies often? Or? I'm not a movie person, I have to say. Um, I wish I was. I'm more of a series person. Right. I say, what's been like your favourite series so far that you watched? Um, oh, The Office. I watched that literally every year religiously since I was like 15. I, I could quote episodes to you. Like I love it so You've much. Seen both like the British and American. Yeah, movies? and I love Ricky Gervais. He he used to have a podcast um, called the Ricky Gervais Show. He was yeah, like yeah. one of the f first. Do, do, do you know about it? Yeah. Yes one of the first people like podcasters so it was like him Steve Richard and Carl Pilkington and I used to listen to that as well when I was in second year um, in school um, so I have a deep deep love for Ricky Gervais I feel like he's my mate like <laughs> I know a lot of people have a very different opinion of him he's a bit ridiculous when is it that you receive compliments that it really means something to you like does it is it from a specific type of person or like in what situation would you like? I don't like? really know. I'm trying really hard not to like let them sink in too much. Yeah. Because I don't know, I've I did, did psychology when I was in college and I know that if you take the compliments to like if you take on the if you digest the compliments too fully then you're also gonna it's a lot easier than to digest like the negative stuff as well. Right. So I'm trying to just like be level and be able to just have a, an internal yes. locus of evaluation, as they say. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, usually it's like I, I obviously I really appreciate it when it's when it's like people that mean a lot to me, whose opinions I respect, my friends, and yeah. my close friends, and my family. Um, and then sometimes it is crazy if someone random is just like, "Hey, you've done something." that really like speaks to me then I'm like whoa what the hell that was like my goal and you know I don't know that is so it is weird yeah um, and it's kind of hard to obviously my my intention is not to let it all sink in but like yeah. it's also hard to, if course. someone's saying stuff to you to be like well whatever <laughs> <laughs> you know it's nice to see like the multiculturalism as well is there a lot of that in Dublin where you live in Dublin yeah it's starting to get there I think I mean, when I first, when I was first moved to Ireland, like, no. When did you move to Ireland? Uh, 2000, so I was about five, so oh, it's geez. like 21 years ago, yeah, but, um, yeah, I mean, we were like the first black family in our little town. I remember there was like a lady that every single time, me and my mum and, it was me, my mum, my sister, and my brother first moved there. My dad was still in Zimbabwe, he joined us later, but whenever it was the four of us, um, walking on the road on the pavement or whatever she would always cross to the other side of the pavement and I never knew why like I never really like my parents were very sure because my dad is white my mum is black and my parents yeah. were very sure not to ever like obviously we were aware of, of of being black and of being different but we never were made to feel like there was anything wrong or anything yeah like it was just different it wasn't bad it wasn't good it was just you know very neutrally different um and yeah i never really like i'd always be like just waving at the lady like oh how are you getting on and here she like so grumpy like crossing over the other side of the road so yeah it was very it was very weird there's a lot of stuff i guess that happened when i was younger that because of the way i was brought up and obviously because i was just naive went completely over my head that yeah. now I think back and I'm like oh that's what that was <laughs> okay cool <laughs> oh, what was it like um, going to school making friends it was like it was fine I definitely feel like I was aware of being black 
but I just didn't really like my dad was white so I was like this I'm already in this you know what I mean I it does it doesn't yeah it didn't really feel like it was like I was like in a weird position but I think that there was yeah like I said just kind of certain times when I didn't necessarily really even realize what was going on or why I would have been left out of things or why people would have said certain things yeah. um, until kind of looking back on it and yeah but it was fine I definitely think it was it's a weird experience though being the only one like or you know very small for the minority yeah. kind of. it is weird feeling it I definitely think is, looking yeah. around and being like oh okay so I'm the only one of these <laughs> around here you know oh, yeah when I first yeah. went to the UK I, I think I told you like I went into year one straight yeah I was probably like six years old only that brown kid in the whole class yeah it's weird yeah, isn't it, it is. like you're aware but then you're also like okay well this is it I'm just gonna get on with it you know because yeah. you don't know any different right that's the just, thing yeah you just think that was oh, just other kids exactly so you're not taught taught any of the other stuff yeah. yet you know why is yoga your favorite one of your favorite activities to do? Um, I don't know my mom really has loved it a lot she went to do like yoga teacher training oh, nice. maybe like three years ago um, of which side note I just think that she's great like just <laughs> she's very inspirational in the sense that she's never really just bent to any stereotypes or anything like she just does whatever she wants to do like she's not like oh I'm an old woman so I shouldn't do this or she's not like oh I'm a black person so I shouldn't do this like she just does whatever she wants and that is I think that's definitely like part of the reason why I was definitely why I was just like yeah great yeah. I like singing <laughs> I could be a singer you know um, but anyway yeah so I think back to yoga um, she's always done she's always done it with us since we were kids and I think it's just a really nice way to just be a bit more I don't know rest like it's like it's because it, it's a moving meditation you know so and you really kind of get in touch with how your body is feeling like and in, in comparison to or not in comparison but in connection to like your mind and you can kind of really then take I don't know take stock of where everything is you yeah. know what I mean energetically I suppose that sounds like such a like airy fairy but it really is though and it kind of just every time I do it I feel like I've just let out the biggest sigh like yeah. you know if I, sometimes I'll be a bundle of nerves and anxiety my stomach is all knotted up and I don't feel like doing yoga and I'm like no like ew those are the days when you do do it and you're like wow that was exactly what I needed I don't know why I didn't I don't know why I didn't want to do that you yeah. know <laughs> what does impact you what are the things is it people things um, experiences that you feel like has added to you the most yeah Family and friends, definitely. Music, definitely. Fashion, weirdly, definitely as well. Like, that's such a huge part of who I am, I think. Not that I'm saying I'm like uber fashionable, but I definitely feel like I just feel the most myself when I like what I'm wearing. You know what I mean? Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. It's so important. I think it's really undervalued. And like, people think I'm so dramatic. I remember one time I went on. I went to visit my friend who was on Erasmus in Singapore and my suitcase got lost and I brought loads of like my favourite stuff with me and um, yeah it was fine for the first two days and then like day three and four I was kind of getting a bit uh, and then it was like day five and I just burst out crying this is me I was like 22 or something like definitely old enough to not be crying about losing clothes and I was just like, because I was borrowing my friend's clothes and I was just like, I just don't feel like me guys. And they're like, Shiv, get over yourself, <laughs> like relax. But honestly, it's just such a, I don't know. It's a real thing. It's, it's a real, a real thing. thing. Yeah. How cute. Uh, 
I definitely like yeah I've never ever been you know some people I've always wanted to be a singer but you know some people are like oh I want to be famous I really like that's the last thing I feel like fame would be the very toxic byproduct of being a successful musician you know I just don't think it's good for people like it just can't be and that's the thing I suppose I'm learning like I feel like I don't know like you, you can have a, a dream career and it's everything that you you know this is what you wanted and you should be so happy but there's always going to be downfalls like it's all everything is just a balance there's give and take yeah it's the best thing in these ways but there's always going to be something that's not ideal you know what i mean and also as human beings we're always going to find that basically that reason to be whinging <laughs> because I mean, that's just the way things are. How confident would you say you are feeling? I don't know, I'm a bit nervous and I usually don't. I think it's because I usually do this when I'm drunk. So I'm like, yeah! But now I'm like, shit, can I do this? There you this go. is the handspring a la Shiv. Enjoy. <laughs> okay, I have to take a run at it. Go, go for it, go for it. Hey! <laughs> Yeah, that was good, that was good.